you know, the most played gaming genre are first person shooters. Most likely because of the adrenaline rush that you feel when you fire your gun or get shot at yourself. In the case of Modern Warfare 2, my current addiction, every gun is unique. Each player can make their own gun class and they can make the guns even more unique by giving them attachments, stickers, and charms. And the attachments change up the feel of the gun. Some attachments can make the gun go super far range like a sniper and some can just be an increased magazine or make the gun look weird. I don't know. But this gives the gun and the player making the gun a whole identity. And that's what we'll be talking about in this video. For each gun, you will model a base slash receiver for the gun where all the attachments could attach to that part. Then you would typically model a barrel that would attach to the base slash receiver and both of them would have armatures making them both animatable. Then this is the very important part. You create bones for each part of the gun that you want to attach different parts of the gun. So you would basically create di separate pieces of the gun, all different models, and some of them would have armatures that you want to also add parts to. When you import your weapon and the attachments, inside the receiver game object, there will be an armature named whatever you named it with a bunch of different game objects named whatever you named each slot. And for example, I named mine a stock. So I would get my stock, ch uh, child the stock into that a underscore stock and then reset its position to zero zero and rotate if needed. Then whenever I move the gun or move the um, bones, it would follow the parent game object. In Unreal Engine, when you use an actor, right, inside the actor you create a skeletal component where your weapon base would go. And because it's a skeletal, skeletal component, it has a bunch of different bones that you can parent or sockets in Unreal Engine. Then you would create another one for your barrel, they're both skeletal components, and you would create a static mesh for every different attachment that you want, right. In the details panel, all you have to do is go into the socket, make sure that the uh, static mesh or the skeletal, skeletal mesh component of the object is um, ch as a, a child of the base or receiver of the gun and search for the socket that you want to attach it to. And you will most likely have to set its position to 0, 0, 0 relative and rotate if needed. For anything that needs to be parented to the barrel, you would do the same thing, but instead of it bar uh, parented to the base, you would parent it to the barrel. If y'all liked, give it a like. If y'all didn't, let me know in the comments, you know. Give me some feedback, you know. I'll see y'all next time.